Right, flank caps play. The most important thing is to get the incision correct because if you go too high up here, you can go into the retroperitoneum. It will go through the fat and the muscle, and then when you start digging, you see your that you'll find. So you need to be make sure you're going into the abdomen and not be too high. The best way to do that is lumbar finishes here. You can roll the thumb off the lumbar vertebra there. About a finger below there is an imaginary line going across. You don't want to go past that because that's where ureters are. Now, regards where we go, cranial cordal, it depends. The more cranial will go, the easier it is for the ovaries, but the harder it is to get the bifurcation. And then, obviously, if we go too far cordal, it can make it harder on the ovaries. Um, generally, what I do is, if it's a large cap, I'll do a finger in front of the pelvis. If it's a sort of medium-ish, something like this, I'll go like half a finger. And if it's a really small one, I'll just, just go just slightly in front of it. So the mark down would be something like this here, going down. So that means our incision site would be here. I always do diagonal, whether it helps or I don't know really. But the idea is that helps a bit for the ovary, that helps a bit more for the bifurcation on the uterus. Um, so that's the most important thing, incision site. Somewhere safe where you're going to go into the abdomen and not risk going into the sort of retroperitoneum area and uh, get the ureters. To get the ureters, if you're in the abdomen, you'd have to start down looking up here, damaging them up here. So if you're going correctly into the abdomen, your ureters shouldn't be an issue, it shouldn't be a problem. Um, so the other thing to do is make sure you don't move the skin, because obviously you'll move the marker, so they don't sort of start going like this or holding the skin while you make the incision, because your marker's going to go offline. OK.